Hey nerds, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna go through what I picked up with my most recent box lunch money. So as usual to start off with, we're gonna look at the receipt and go through the numbers and then we're gonna jump into the pops. So with, I got 10 pops for $10.90 a piece, which came out to $109. I wanted to get to the next set of hot cash, which would have been $120 to get 60 off. But I also had a $5 off coupon, so I needed to get to $125. So I was at $109, so I added two enamel pins, which brought me to $126.80, which is perfect, like right above the $125 mark. So with the $5 off reward and the $60 off, I brought my total to $61.80 before tax, then my pops cost $5.29 a piece before tax. That's pretty freaking good if I do say so myself. All right, the first thing is a lounge fly enamel pin from the Disney villains, and that is my favorite villain, Scar. So this is what his pin looks like. It's pretty freaking awesome. I love his like prowling pose that he's in. I think that's super dope, and I can't wait to throw it on the pack. The second pin that we got you know, coming up on my second favorite villain, we got Jafar. I don't necessarily love his character like in the movies, but something about his look. Maybe it's because he's brown. I don't know. All right, now into the pops. So this first pop was a complete surprise for me, and that is Piglet, number 253. I did not expect to find Piglet in the store. I have been searching for a piglet, piglet so I can keep moving along with my Winnie the Pooh line but I haven't been successful in finding one cheaper than $15. But in the store, just randomly found this. They had like three or four, snatched one up. Now I got it for like six bucks, $5 and some change. So can't beat that. All right, this is Piglet outside of his box. He looks super cute in his normal, happy but nervous pose. He's so freaking tiny. So I'm really glad that I was able to get him for a little under six bucks. The next pop is one of the ones I needed to complete the set above me. I don't even know if I'm pointing to it. Boom, there they are. So it's an avatar pop, and it is actually Aang with Momo. So I'm glad I could pick him up, number 534. I'm super excited that he comes with Momo, so let's bust it open. This is Aang. He looks so freaking good. I love the detail of the arrow on his head. Um, let's see. Actually, oh yeah, they even put the detail of the arrow on his hands, even though you can't see his hands very well. I was just going to say they probably didn't put that detail, but they tricked me. I really love, my favorite part is the detail of like the wind for his air bending and his staff. And he's just such a dynamic pose. Like they did such an amazing job with this line. Another thing I love about the Ang Pop is the fact that it comes with a little sidekick. I love getting little sidekick pops. So this is little tiny Momo. He's super freaking cute. And I'm also really excited to have him because, funny story, I already told one of you guys in the comments of a different video that part of the reason that my name is Momo on my channel is because I got the nickname of Momo in college. And part of the reason they gave me that nickname had to do with Momo the lemur. So super awesome to have a pop of him now. All right, this next one is one of the last ones I needed to complete my Dragon Ball set. I actually recently picked up the last one that I needed and I posted it up on my Instagram so you guys could check that out. But the second to last one that I needed is Yamcha and Pura. So this is them. Again, another pop with a sidekick. Love it. I know they're from the Dragon Ball Z line, but I like them from Dragon Ball and that's the only wave I want to collect. So they still count. All right, so this is Yamcha outside of his box. His stance, super great. He's ready to kick some butt. I love the detail of the scars on his face and his hair, magnificent. They're doing a really good job on the hair of these Dragon Ball Pops. Like, and he's super heavy because his big old head with this hair. I don't know, I'm just really digging this pop. I almost got dead Yamcha for SDCC, but I really didn't want that version of him. So I'm super glad that they made this one, you know, a little bit after. And then along with Yamcha, of course, a little sidekick, Poor. I love this. I always pronounce his name really weird. I used to call him Pua, 
and then Puar, because I know there's an R at the end. I don't know. And hearing them pronounce it in the show is really difficult, especially because I watched um, Dragon Ball all in Japanese. It's just, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how the pronunciation is supposed to be. And even with the pronunciation, like, I still am not good with saying his name for some reason. Like, I don't know. All right, this next pop is the last one that I needed to complete a set that I started during my hot cash video. And that is Donnie from the Wild Thornberries. So this is him, number 507. Again, that's the set. I got the other two, Eliza and Nigel. And I'm super freaking excited to have him. All right, this is Donnie outside of his box, looking like the wild man that he is, with that big giant grin and a mouth where he speaks all that gibberish. I love his little cheetah shorts. They just really got my mans out here looking wild, and I love it. All right, these next six pops are the set that I was most looking forward to. I actually decided to do this box lunch haul and wait to get these pops because I wanted to use my box lunch money on them. So once you see the first one, you'll know what the other five are. So let's go ahead and just jump right into what they are. The first one is Simba with a bug in his hand. So I'm actually kind of, you know, salty that I have another Simba because I already have two of him. This is number 496. Let's go ahead and pop him out real quick. This is him outside of the box. You know, although he's just another Simba, I do like that his facial expression and his when his arms are different. I love the bug in his hand. When I was little, watching the scenes where he started eating bugs, I was like, oh man, I wanna eat those bugs. Not actual bugs, because real bugs look gross. But their bugs looked fun and cute and delicious, like some gummy worms. So my parents actually bought me these really cool popsicles that were from Lion King that had little um, bugs buried inside. So I'd eat the popsicles and, you know, chew up the little bugs and pretend like I was out there with them while I watched the movie. So, you know, super nerd stuff, super young. This next one, I'm super glad to have. I'm glad they finally made her. And that is Nala, because where would Simba be without her? Number 497. Go ahead and pop her open real quick. All right, so this is Nala. Her pose is just kind of basic, like the original Simba. I mean, not much going on there. What could you really do, I guess? I'm just super glad to finally have her because like I said, where would Simba be without her? He'd still be in the jungle with Timon and Pumbaa eating bugs and not ruling Pride Rock like he's supposed to. So shout out to Nala and shout out to Funko for finally making her. All right, this next one is probably the most dynamic pop from this wave of Lion King pops and that is Luau Timon. I definitely feel like he's the most dynamic because look at his posture, look at his outfit, like number 500. Let's go ahead and check him out, out of the box, get those details. So this is what Timon looks like outside of his box. Like, look at those details. They got the flower on his head. They got the lay around his neck, his awesome little grass skirt. Like, come on, look how he's standing. He's ready to bust it down and, you know, put on a good dance to chew away the hyenas or distract them, I guess I should say, so someone could sneak on in. I'm really digging this pop. And to follow right along with Timon, where would he be without Pumbaa? So this is actually the letdown for me of the wave, number 498. Just because we already have a Pumbaa and there's not much difference. Let's pop it open and see what I'm talking about. All right, so this is Pumbaa. So the only major difference between him and the old one is the apple in his mouth. Of course his facial expression is gonna be different, but that's only because he's supposed to be holding the apple in his mouth and he can't have the same standard, you know, face with the apple in his mouth. But I mean, it's still a dope pop. It's still cool to have the scene. It's kind of weird. His head and his body are like two different tones and textures. Like this one is more matte and this part's more glossy. His head has some really good movement. Whoa, his head actually turns backwards. That is both cool and creepy as heck. Let me turn that around. Ugh, that was weird. Let me know in the comment section if your Puma head turns completely around or is mine just messed up? Because I'd love to know. The next pop that we got is good old bird brain himself, Zazu. So this is Mufasa's sidekick as we all know, number 499. 
Super glad to finally have this guy in the collection. Terazazu out of the box. I think it's really important to finally have him as a pop because he's pretty, you know, major in the movie. If you can't tell, his head is super loose, just like Pumbaa. So once again, let me know in the comments down below, like, is his head supposed to do that? All right, last but not least, we have the man himself. We have good old Mufasa. I'm super excited to have this guy. Like, he definitely should have been one of the original ones. I understand why Simba was, but he should have been in that OG line as well. $4.95. I'm ready to bust him open and take a look. This is Mufasa outside of his box. He just looks so large and in charge and like relaxed, like good old Mufasa fashion. I'm really digging this pop. I'm digging how big and heavy he is. And his head actually does not move at all, unlike all of the rest of the ones, because they have his mane completely connected. And speaking of his mane, it's really interesting. This part, the top part of his mane is like an orangey color. It kind of looks like it's painted to glow in the dark, even though I know it doesn't. And then this bottom part of his mane is darker. It's more of like a maroon. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but like in person, they look like two completely different colors. And I kind of like that. So that's gonna do it for me in this video, guys. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And while you're down there, let me know in the comment section which of these pops was your favorite. And don't forget to let me know about their head spinning and that craziness. And also the color of Mufasa's mane. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the know of all the nerdy and hit that bell notification. But as always guys, remember, keep it nerdy.